Hi, good morning. Uh, I'll be speaking about gangrene today. What is gangrene? Gangrene is macroscopic death of uh, tissue with putrefaction. Uh, Pre-gangrene uh, usually presents with rest pain, color changes, edema, hyperesthesia, ischemia, ulceration. What are the types of gangrene? We have two types of gangrene, dry gangrene and wet gangrene. Moving on to dry gangrene. Uh, why does dry gangrene occur? Uh, because of the uh, uh, deprived uh, blood supply uh, in arterial and unimpeded uh, venous uh, flow. Yeah, based on the, uh, uh, it might be either chronic or acute based on the arterial occlusion. Uh, they usually present with color changes, initially starting with greenish, moving on to black, and they become then dry and mummified. There's a line of separation present in dry gangrene and a stump is conical. There's a line of demarcation. Uh, the line of demarcation uh, indicates uh, the line, uh, the junction between the dead tissue and the living tissue. And there is a band of hyperemia near the line of demarcation, which uh, represents the increase in temperature and increase in vascularity at that particular zone. And there is a layer of granulation as shown on the figure. And there is a hyperesthesia. Uh, hyperesthesia and it is usually dry gangrene is usually seen in old age and elderly people in diabetics, patients with diabetes, diabetes mellitus, Bugers disease, Raynaud's phenomenon in frostbite and vascular occlusion, embolism or ligation of the arterial supply. <clears throat> Moving on to dry gangrene, it might be either due to arterial, sudden arterial or venous blockage and uh, there is super added infection and putrefaction. The limbs are cold, pulseless, swollen, edematous with plebs and there is a, a bad odor that emanates from the uh, wet gangrene. There is no light of demarcation seen in wet gangrene as seen in dry gangrene and constitutional symptoms of fever are present are present and uh, cellulitis it spreads faster and it is seen in patients with acute inflammation venous thrombosis gas gangrene and dead source now moving on to the differentiating factors between dry gangrene and wet gangrene the most common site of dry gangrene is the limbs and the most common site of wet gangrene is the bowel the mechanism of dry gangrene is due to arterial occlusion and the most common mechanism of wet gangrene is venous obstruction Macroscopically dry uh, uh, gangrene appears as a dry, shrunken and black and mummified uh, end, end, whereas in wet gangrene, the part is moist, soft, swollen, uh, that is edematous, rotten and dark. Putrefaction is limited due to very little blood supply in dry, dry gangrene, whereas in wet gangrene, there, it is marked due to the stuffing of organ with blood. Line of demarcation. It is present at the junction between the healthy and the gangrenous part. In wet gangrene, there is no clear-cut line of demarcation. Bacteria uh, fail to survive in case of dry gangrene. They are numerous, uh, numerously present in patients with wet gangrene. In dry gangrene, the prognosis is much better due to very little septicemia and due to the line of demarcation. But in wet gangrene, it is generally poor due to profound toxemia. This represents uh, a pictorial differentiation between a patient with dry gangrene and wet gangrene. In this, in the picture on the left, you can make out the line of demarcation, the line of granulation, and uh, the area of hyperemia and hyperpigmentation, whereas in wet gangrene, and it is mummified in case of dry gangrene. In wet gangrene, there is no line of demarcation. There is putrefaction seen in case of dry gangrene, and there is edema seen. The causes of uh, gangrene being arterial occlusion, venous obstruction, nervous disease, nervous disease, traumatic or infective. Arterial occlusion mainly atherosclerosis, embolism, Raynaud's, Bugers disease, cervical rib and cephalitic. Venous obstruction usually seen in deep vein thrombosis. And nervous disease is uh, seen in peripheral neuritis, tapes, dorsalis, syringomyelia, leprosy and hemiplegia. Traumatic in may either might either be direct or indirect. Infective causes being carbuncle, cancrum oris, gas gangrene, and phoneus gangrene. Diabetic gangrene, physically there is heat, physical heat burns and scalds. Cold, there is frostbite, corrosive alkalis and acids, electricity and irradiation. The differential diagnosis, serile gangrene usually occurs over the age of 50 years, usually seen in limbs. Patients usually present with history of claudication pain, that is rest pain, and dry gangrene with ulceration. Lerish syndrome is where the, uh, uh, where the patient presents with uh, erectile dysfunction because of the loss of blood supply and thrombosis of the, uh, of the gonadal vessels. Bugers disease usually seen in young men 
can be seen in both upper and lower limbs usually associated with cigarette smoking familial or autoimmune then present patients present with claudication pain which is rest pain postular color changes trophic changes ulceration and gangrene renaud's disease usually seen in young women pulse is unaffected embolic gangrene seen in, uh, is uh, seen in, uh, as a sudden onset with pain cold and numb limb and pulselessness syphilitic gangrene is rare seen in middle age in example endarthritis obliterans gummatis infiltration and is of dry type venous gangrene is usually uh, called as plegmasia uh, querulosa dolens and usually associated with deep in thrombosis of the iliac veins or the pelvic veins infective con- ga- uh, gangrene cancrum oris it is toxemic manifestation usually present uh, patient present with stomatitis leading to ulceration sloughing and then gangrene carbuncle is usually due to super added infection by staphylococcus and usually seen in diabetics uh, and uh, seen at the nape of the neck and the back infective gangrene of the skin and subcutaneous tissue Fourniers gangrene is gangrene of the scrotum it is usually vascular infective gangrene of the scrotum it is due to obliteration of the arteries arteries of the scrotum and cutaneous gangrene gangrene of internal organs include that of the bowel gallbladder appendix and it is a type of wet gangrene there is incarcerated hernia or volvulus also can present with gangrene and usually patients present with profound septicemia post operative synergistic gangrene it is usually seen in the uh, abdomen and uh, due, uh, there is epyema and uh, drainage of surgeries for peritonitis it uh, presents with spreading ulcer with destruction and burrow moving on to gas gangrene the causative organism of gas gangrene is clostridium especially clostridium perfringens it is an anaerobic bacteria it is usually associated associated with trauma and ischemia extensive exotoxins are produced it leads to necrosis with gas production clinical features include pain fever swelling toxemia foul smelling khaki brown skin and crepitus types being fulminant necrotic gas gangrene massive group subcutaneous and single the treatment includes injection benzyl penicillin 20 lakh international units for early along with anaerobic cover like metronidazole trans, uh, transfusion of fresh frozen uh, plasma polyvalent anti serum 25000 international units every six daily use of hyperbaric oxygen excision extensive excision and debridement rehydration and electrolyte management and